Hello, this is your channel, Sosa NASA One. My name is Emmanuel, and now we are going to test this capacitor. If you watch this capacitor in my hand, this is a washing machine capacitor. It's more big than, for example, fan capacitor because this capacitor is used inside washing machine that is a bigger machine than a fan. In this case, this capacitor is interesting because if you watch here, if you read here, this capacitor has, let me see, let me use this. This capacitor has a information here. This is very important. This color, for example, watch the color of the cables. This is important, this color, because here on the capacitor, the violet and the yellow is one capacitor. And the blue and red is other capacitor. Inside this capacitor, we have two capacitor. We are going to use this digital multimeter to measure how many microfarads has this capacitor. Because the only way that we can know if this capacitor is fine is using this digital multimeter testing this capacitor. And in this case, we are going to test the microfarads of this capacitor. The violet, the yellow, is one capacitor that has 27 microfarads. And the blue cable with the red cable is other capacitor that has 13.5 microfarads. Now let's to test this capacity in microfarad using our digital multimeter. The first step is very easy. Take the capacitor and take the cable. In this case, let me see the violet with the yellow. This with this. Let's to separate this. and touch these two cables each other. Touch in this way. This is for discharge this capacitor. It's ready. Now take the other capacitor and touch in this way. Ready. This capacitor now doesn't have any. Now, Take the digital multimeter and watch on the capacitor. The capacitor watch, uh, 27 microfarads. This is the higher number, 27. If you watch here, 200 microfarads is higher than 27 microfarads. For that reason, we must select 200 microfarads. This is the limit of microfarad measuring in this digital multimeter. This little number on the multimeter screen is the limit of microfarads. Let's to take this and let's to take the capacitor watch on the capacitor, violet and yellow combination. Let's to take the violet cable with the yellow cable to begin this test. Look, here are the colors and the yellow here and the violet here. The other two, 
don't use in this time. Okay, okay. After we choose here 200 microfarads, the other step is change this connector. This is the positive. This connect from here and introduce here in milliamperes port. Now our digital multimeter is ready to begin our test. First, take this and take the violet and the yellow cable in this case. Put here, okay. Fine. Now touch the red tip with the yellow and the black tip with the violet and watch on the multimeter screen. In this case, this capacitor has 30.1 or 30 microfarads, more or less 30 microfarads. It means this capacitor is good in this part. I mean the combination between the yellow and the violet cable. If you watch on the capacitor, here is 27 microfarads. And in the digital multimeter screen, this capacitor has a higher number, is 30.1 microfarads. It means this capacitor is good, it's fine. Now let's to test the other capacitor. The other combination is the red cable with the blue cable. This is our other capacitor. Let's to touch, in this case, the red with the red and the blue and watch on the multimeter screen in this case this capacitor has 15.2 microfarads in this case now if we read here on the capacitor the blue with the red cable mod has 13.5 microfarads the combination of the blue with the red cable and the number that we watch on the multimeter screen is 15.3 microfarads it means this capacitor is in good condition the first with the combination of the violet cable with the yellow cable and the second capacitor with the combination with the blue and the red cable. This capacitor is in good condition. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share this video. Give me a like and thank you for watching. See you next time.